Hi everyone, it's that time of year yet again. It's coming very close to Christmas and I'm gonna celebrate, celebrate, celebrate by making an eggnog. I've made it tradition, well this is going to make it tradition by doing it this year, by stealing other people's recipes. Last year I did Leandro's eggnog recipe, which I'll leave a link to in the description below as well as probably up here in one of the cards so you can check that out. And this year I'm stealing Jeffrey Morgan Thoughtless. He loves eggnog, he, he shares his recipe on his website every single year and it's apparently hugely popular uh, at the bar he works at or manages or owns, I'm not sure, I should know that. Um, Clyde Common in Portland, Oregon. Uh, and then I think it was back in 2009 that he made a variation on his classic or his base eggnog recipe utilizing Añejo tequila and Montiato uh, sherry. And it's been popular ever since. I think that was the first of his recipe. He wanted to basically create these unique eggnog recipes every year. And that was the first one he created and it went crazy popular. Uh, and he's stuck with it ever since. I think that's the story. But yeah, so I'm gonna make one recipe, but I've made both uh, and I'm just gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. The recipes are pr pretty much identical with substituting the, the spirits. So uh, there's no point in me making it twice, but incredibly easy to make. The best part about this is if you're a little bit organized, then you can make a big batch up and keep it in the fridge and pour it and away you go. The original recipe can create 12 serves. He scaled it down, I'm just making the two, two serve version. I'll leave both in the description below as well as links to Jeffrey Morgan Fuller's website so you can check it out. Um, but I'll just get on to making the drink. Let's do that. So I wanna start by cracking two eggs. Now I'm using a, a mixer. If you don't have a mixer, then you can use a blender, of course. He specifically says don't use a commercial blender. Uh, which is why I have like a Vitamix because because they uh, turn on so high they actually heat and you can potentially cook your eggs, which is probably not a good thing. So we want to start by blending our eggs on a medium pace for one minute. I'll just turn that down so I can speak. And while it's still going, you want to add 90 ml or three ounces by volume of sugar, which is roughly 75 grams. Add it slowly and do it for another minute. Next, you want to mix in heavy cream. So 120 ml, four ounces. And 180 ml, six ounces of whole milk. So now you have two options. First of all, you can go with the base recipe, which is uh, probably most similar to Jerry Thomas's um, eggnog recipe that he used in the bartender's guide. Key difference that Morgenthaler didn't like was the fact that it's shaken and strained and therefore you get extra dilution in your eggnog. This recipe, you blend it, or you mix it and then bottle it and then you serve it straight away. So it doesn't have the extra water content or that dilution. So the first recipe, the base recipe, you can use a spice rum, 60 ml, two ounces. He uses Sailor Jerry's. And then a brandy, 60 ml, two ounces. That's the base recipe. Now I'm doing the Clyde Common recipe. Uh, and I'll, I'll still, well, I've made them both beforehand. I'll compare them afterwards. But for the sake of the video on what I'm actually going to make, I'll do the Clyde Common recipe and I'll measure out 60 ml, two ounces of your chosen and Yeho tequila. And 75, 75 mil, 2.5 ounces of Amontillado sherry. That will add some nutty characteristics to the, to the nut. I probably should transfer it to a bottle, shouldn't I? This is a large bottle compared to how much nog I have made, but if you want to transfer, contents of your mixing bowl into a sterilized bowl. Oh, it smells so good. So there you have the Clyde Common Eggnog by Jeffrey Morgan Bowler. And here are the two nogs that I prepared earlier. One using the, the base nog recipe featuring brandy and spice rum, and the other one featuring 
a, uh, a Nieho tequila and a Amontillado sherry. I'm trying to be cautious and pronounce that correctly. So to serve these into a chilled glass, Nice and thick and rich. It smells so good. Yeah, into like nice old vintage um, cocktail glasses and then garnish with a grating of nutmeg. So eggnog isn't that popular in Australia because usually, especially where I'm from, the temperature varies from between 35 and 40 degrees uh, Celsius. But if I had these these recipes, these eggnog recipes a long time ago, then I'd probably drink eggnog a little more often because they're really good. So first up, the base recipe, eggnog. By the way, these bottles have been sitting in the fridge, so it's, it's nice and cold. It's like, it's delicious. Like I can understand exactly why you would want to drink this during those colder months when it's like, snowing outside it's, it's sorry it still seems kind of strange for me having a, a cold cold christmas it's kind of weird um but yeah if it was winter cold um by a fire I'd, I'd still like this really ice cold but those particular flavors the warming nutmeg um the spices from the rum the cognac or the brandy goes really well together and then this one that is, that is delicious. You get that nuttiness from the from the sherry. If I had to, I mean, if I had to pick between these two, it would be incredibly hard to do. I think that's like bolder, a little bit richer. And then you've got that unique nutty flavor to it that makes it really interesting. Both amazing nog recipes. If you're in a cooler climate area and you love having eggnog, definitely try both these recipes. They're super easy to make and you can whip them up beforehand and then just simply pour them into a glass, garnish with nutmeg and you're good to go. Fucking hell, Teddy! <laughs> Okay guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. I hope you have an amazing Christmas and really enjoy your holidays and keep safe. I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.